Yo, what's good guys? It's Jidel and welcome to part one of a three-part chop. We're gonna be uploading chop today, tomorrow, the following day. Let's meet today's contestant starting with Jesse. What's up, Jesse? Um all-time chop champion, most wins under my belt. What's up, it's Mopey. I got one win under my belt, looking to get another one today in the year of strong. Hi, I'm Todd. First time, <laughs> first time cooker, long time watcher. <laughs> What's up, I'm Mitchell. I have one more belt than Todd has, and I'm trying to also get another one. All right then, you know, and today I am joined by the most well-renowned judges in the entire world. Tell us about your judging experience. So, what's up? It's Chris London. Um, my judging experience, you know, I'm not the favorite London, but I think I'm the best judge, and um, I'm looking forward to today's series. Chef Zach, you guys have seen me on the show before, you've seen me win the show before, um, so I have, you know, experience. So today, guys, we are doing the appetizer round. You know, in the past, you guys like to throw in, you know, desserts. Today, you're making an appetizer. If you make too big of a dish, it's not an appetizer. You gotta be very thoughtful about your plating, all of that, and you have three ingredients you must use and include. Let's open the bags. First ingredient, avocados. Okay. Avocado. Second ingredient, edamame. 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 Todd, what are you doing? Todd, that's not edamame. Welcome to the show, Todd. Third ingredient, limes. Bro, what? <laughs> We always gotta throw you for a loop. So the test is you're gonna have 20 minutes to make an appetizer. Whoever is chopped will not make it to episode two. One person is getting chopped every episode during this three-part series. Time starts now. Here we go. Here we go. Chopped has begun. Chopped has uh, begun. Who do you guys think is going to make it the distance? Look, man, y'all already know. Team Microwave Gang. I'm gonna be looking who's using that microwave today. I don't know, I'm going with the oddball, man. I, I think Todd's gonna do something crazy. Bro, so where are our cutting longer? That's what I love about chops. Everything gets moved around. Todd, you looked at it a second time. What? Open, the Open the drawer again, Todd, the other one. What's that blue thing? That's just the tiniest cutting board I've it's ever a seen cutting in my board. life. Attention judges. Uh, yeah. Wash those hands, boys. We got hand sanitizer, we got soap. I think you guys are- Oh! oh good move! Oh, oh, like this Todd guy. You wanna try Todd? Oh. You, you wanna get into that Todd? Who's these? Oh. If they're, if they're good, go crazy. Make sure they're not what stale. That? What does it it's say? It's an appetizer, yeah. bro. May 19. Or did we already pass that? What? We're in December 19, bro. <laughs> what? No, Mitchell, trash can. Yeah, don't put them back. back in the pantry. This is so much more stressful than I thought it would be. Oh, it's very stressful. And time is ticking. Yeah, oh my god, he almost Sorry. cut me. <laughs> he's learned he's using a serrated knife with the bread this time. We Jesse's evolution has been nice. But I've seen bread and sushi, those do not go together. So oh, this is gonna be great. Oh, Please what are you doing? doing? That's right. not how you cut an avocado. Yes, it is. You, you gotta... Oh my god. You gotta... Hey, let him work, let him work. Let him work. Go crazy? You're making me nervous. Oh god, he's gonna kill himself. He's just gonna die. He's just gonna. Dead. He's gonna hit a, a, a main artery and he's gonna die. <laughs> there we go, baby. Okay. There we Mop go. Mop gang. Mop gang. Now what do you do? Now what do you do? Uh, you gotta you do gotta the professional it. thing. No, 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 no. Keep the knife in here. Yeah, but. Wait, no, I don't need help. I don't need help. No, 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 no. Come on. You got this, bro. Probably. The seat part. Yeah. Pop it out of there. That is yeah. not how you pop That's it out. You... Oh! <laughs> okay! <laughs> right. Close enough, out. man. Close enough. I don't I... really know what this yeah, is, but it, it smells it really good. It, so I'm gonna use it as a pizza yeah. sauce. You know, this is an interesting set of ingredients, and they all seem kind of thrown for a loop with the lime, but I don't think the lime is that scary. Yeah, you just... Squeeze it on something. Yeah, I feel like lime and avocado is like a very natural combo. I'm, I'm, I am i i do not know what. I'm scared of Mitchell. I don't, I'm, I, nothing Mitchell has done, I have enjoyed so far. Mitchell, these hey, are appetizers now. I know, I know. And Jesse, what? I don't mine's know what's like appetizer. Mine's just what like a the? five. Ugh. Did he just pull <laughs> not being so judgy. <laughs> I'm a judge. Y'all not salt. <laughs> That's his job. 13 and a half minutes. Y'all are doing pretty good on time. Alright, I s Oh my oh, god! What the f What did he do? He just squirted an, an unnecessary amount of lime in that. <laughs> <laughs> Mitchell has lost all hope. Or, I, I have an early prediction. Oh, Mitchell, did we check the expo on that? But it's brand new. 
Are you sure? Because my uncle brought that over for Thanksgiving, and that was a month ago. Oh, God. Yikes. Yeah. All right. Okay. Okay, Jess. Very interesting you knife to use knife? to cut sushi. A butter knife. Oh, my God. Ooh, sushi. Ooh, masaga. Oh, dude. Oh. You're not going to use a spoon? Dude, you're so patient. Oh! I washed oh, my hands! You're not going to use a spoon! I washed Bro. my hands with I don't care! You can't use your pants as a napkin. You <laughs> dude, it's wiping what? it on your pants. Oh, my God. Oh! There we go. Bertoli. Now, Zach, we haven't actually, you know, really seen what uh, Mitchell and Tyler are making. What would you guess? From Tyler, I would say just an amalgamation of different things that he has no idea what they're going to taste like together. Uh-huh. From Mitchell, I'm going to say Dude, some I've sort of... Dude, I've seen a disturbing amount of different sauces that don't go together going into Mitchell's plate. Guacamole. Five and a half minutes. Woo! Tyler's, this man's got edamame and fruit. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? I feel like he didn't know how to use the edamame. I'm preparing edamame. a delicacy. Like he doesn't know what edamame is. I love edamame. I eat these all the time. Not all the time, but never seen you. How do you, um... I went to QC factory. So, so when you... What is Todd's using fresh ingredients? Balsamic, Balsamic glaze. Ooh. Three minutes left! Oh, God. You must be plated before the time oh. is up. Okay. You put edamame in there, bro. Bro, you don't know. Sugar and edamame. We have to try it. And fruit. I don't know about the so no, candy, So no but... tea microwave today, boys, or? I did. Okay. No so tea microwave. You'll see. Oh no, I don't like the sound of that. <laughs> I don't. It's I good. I taste tested it. I ate the whole thing. I, I was just... enjoying it. You guys observe. Why are we observing? What are we observing right now? You should be able to taste. We don't have to observe. Yeah, that is. We will. We will be able to taste I'm that. Done. Oh my God! We'll definitely be able to taste that. <laughs> I'm done. Damn. I finished early. I'm. Just... Now. Good for you. Might want to think about plating now, chefs. I, th I think that's enough sugar, bro. <laughs> what well, is that? You know you can taste stuff as you What's go. What's going on, boys? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so we're gonna share Bobby, a bowl? why are you clapping off your hands what do you like mean? you just did something I I'm done crazy? Here. Oh, 30 God. seconds! So we're share plating the entire thing? Let me introduce the food when I'm complete with it. <laughs> I'm chilling. Everyone else has played it? 10, 9, 8, Moby, 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 just we were gonna... 3, 2, 1, stop! Oh my god! Wow, that, that <laughs> this, this is this is one spoon. This, can I just fix the plate and put the spoon in yeah. there? Yes, yes. yes. please. <laughs> oh <my> God. <laughs> All right, Chef Jesse, tell us what you prepared today. Chefs, judges, so today I prepared for you a two-part appetizer. First, we're gonna start off with a nice avocado toast, and it is toasted. Believe that. With some some mozzarella cheese on top, just to make it extra good. And if you're a big lime fan, you know, the guac already has limes, but there's lime on the side. And then moving on, we have the poke bowl. Just a nice little light poke bowl. Really delicious. All right. Well, look at that crunch. You love to hear that. You look happy. <laughs> Don't confuse my happiness. Poke bowl's not that bad. Now, Chef Jesse, explain the process of comboing breaded mozzarella with a poke bowl. It's a two part. You know, they're just both great foods. When I like to go to restaurants, I get so many different appetizers. I'll get nachos, and then I'm gonna get sliders, and then I'm getting calamari. You were supposed to make, you know, one cohesive dish. You know what? I just made one tasty dish. That's how they're cohesive. All right, thank you, Chef. Thank you. Next up, Chef Todd. Chefs, judges, friends, lovers, today what I have for you is a beautiful guacamole with some fine chips. I paired it purposely with a balsamic vinaigrette, which was reduced in order to sort of, you know, they're very complimentary flavors. The edamame admittedly threw me a bit for the loop, uh, but, you know, I tried to make it something that wouldn't overpower the other side of the dish, so I just paired it with a nice rice. It won't be too much, it's just a nice little garnish. I'll be honest, Chef Todd, this chip completely overpowers the guac. I don't, I don't have even the taste the guac. Oh my god. That chip is really powerful. Yeah. I should have tasted that first. Wow, I like, don't even taste your guac, or the lime. Oh. That's a powerful chip. Yeah, it's very. It's a very powerful chip. But the presentation, I will say, is by far the best I've, oh. I've seen. You did touch up the edamame. The edamame has been touched up. The edamame has been the touched up. The guacamole is fire by itself. Try it without the chip. Do I try the guac with the rice? Try the guac with the rice. 
I, I do like everything but the chip. Thing about your use of ingredients, I just don't taste the lime in anything. I'm, yeah, I'm gonna have to say I don't either. I haven't even tried the balsamic with That'll this. So I wonder how this is combo. Oh no. Uh uh. That was a bad combo. Thank you, Chef Todd. <laughs> Chef Mitchell. Oh my god. I'll explain. Does yours guys look as nasty as mine? Okay. Yes. I'm <laughs> taking chips and dip to a whole nother level. So we got a decked out chip. So how you're gonna eat this is you can just straight up dip it in the guacamole. Um, and then if you're trying to get a little risky, put a little edamame on the pizza, dip it. Now you get a little extra crumb. Chef Mitchell, how do I dip this into this? You just slightly. All right, I'm going for it. Put the edamame on there too. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> is this a chip or tortilla or? Or is this a joke? Tortilla chip. It's pretty soggy. Did you do anything to the edamame? A little salt. I, I don't even know how to eat your guac. You didn't provide us a utensil. This chip doesn't chip really, it utensil. falls apart the moment it touches it's it. It's very soggy chip. Thank you, Chef Mitchell. <laughs> now, you guys have anything to say? Because Zach, you have something to say, I feel like. I don't, ugh. Well, it, it, I I'm did get- i lost for words. <laughs> I did taste pizza. The salami was very powerful. Yeah. Um, Not an ingredient. I think yeah. you forgot the line. Chef Mopey. That's what's up. This. For the main appetizer, I have provided you guys Jewish crackers, and in the center we have guacamole, and there has it's been- not guacamole. Or avocado. That's slices that's of not avocado. Guacamole. You just sliced up an avocado <laughs> and then poured lime over it. We have avocado <laughs> and crackers. Great crackers, by the way. Those are something you've never tried before, I bet. And what I did to top off the crackers was a little bit lime, so you get a good hint of lime in the uh, avocado. And then what is, what is this? Um, okay, so right there you have, this is, this is the delicacy. Uh, people usually put salt on edamame. When you're meant to put sugar on it, it enhances the flavor of it. So you have the edamame, you have raspberries, and you have blueberries. All right, I'm taking a bite. All yeah. three. Getting all three in my spoon. Ooh, I don't know if... I. That's you just said ooh oh. to your own. Uh, dude, the issue? The edamame has too much natural salt in it. Ugh. Yeah, that's that disgusting. <laughs> Holy sh. Alright, <laughs> here we go. Try the, try the crackers, dude. Uh, uh, yeah, how do we dip this, bro? Don't just, double dip. Don't, take it. don't double dip so you take I a big I think double bite. dipping is the least of our worries. You take right like you now, really made no efforts you to clean up the like the parts of the avocado that are unappetizing looking. It's all appetizing. I can't even like me and Chris are struggling to even Yeah, I had to like just chip it here, off. I'm gonna have to like scoop Chris some okay. and then like just spend for myself. <laughs> Contestants? I tried Jesse's. <laughs> Stop! I tried. Stop oh making God. sounds! Dude, Stop get this it. away from me. Get this away from me. Con contestants, I tried Jesse's. And the Poke Bowl, it was good. Then he had a side that, why was it there? I was like, this dude Jesse's getting chopped. Then I tried Todd's. That might have been the most disgusting cracker I've ever had in my life. The glaze had nothing to do with it. Then I tried Mitchell's thing. What was that? And then Mopey, God. Dude, you managed to, every time I tried a meal, it got worse and worse and worse. It, it really did. It really, <laughs> so it really, <laughs> it I'm just really, gonna say this. It really <laughs> just went, like. Every meal, I took more than one bite and I could actually stomach it. Mopies, I spit out everything that I tried to eat because it was so disgusting. <laughs> well, guys, I would like for you to head to the other room and we will debate who deserves to stay. Going into yes. episode two. You okay, Tyler? Mopey, talk to us. Mopey. I just want to say, Tyler, I Mopey. never see anyone in the house order edamame except for you. Then why would you put it with fruit? Have you ever ordered it with fruit? <laughs> it's okay, bud. Alright, so judges, I think the one thing we can agree on is Jesse should stay. Yeah, that's that's a given. I think the one um, thing we can agree on is that Mopey needs to get the f out of the kitchen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, the uh, thing is, Mopey's was so bad, but so was Mitchell's and Todd's. Yes, but Mopey's was exponentially worse. <laughs> yeah. I couldn't <laughs> stomach it. Like, like my mouth was this like, is, this is something else, I think, bro. I think what, went, what went so wrong with the crackers and avocado? That Tyler, was my selling point. Did you make you that was just crackers and avocados. Oh, That's oh, not a dish. All simple. you had to do was take it, push it down with the spoon, add some lime and guacamole. Then I put lime on the crackers. And I, so I, so what? I didn't do the no, no, avocado. No, the avocado. The edamame. Why did? What's so rude? Mitchell should have been cut if I could take a bite of Mopies. Yeah. But I couldn't even take a he bite. He spit it up. I gagged. I don't want to put it by itself. 
So I thought, what's the worst? Put in some blueberries, raspberries, throw some sugar on it. Maybe it could taste better. Ew. Not spit out. Ew. I think we, we know what we want to do here. Absolutely. Get Mopey the yeah. of this series. Ugh. And never let him back in. Never and let his him back win in. was definitely a fluke. In today's chop, because you guys will move on to tomorrow's episode, there is no winner. There's only one loser today. But we will say, this man is safe. Jesse. Yeah! Jesse, you are congratulations. You are moving on to tomorrow. Woo! Jesse, your Poke Bowl was good. Your dish was unfocused, but at least it was good throughout. It was edible. It was edible. I would finish half of it. The next person who's safe made something truly disgusting. Todd. The reason you're safe, Todd, is because you showed enough potential that we know you can turn it around. Presentation was absolutely beautiful. Execution, dog. Thank you, we just want to see what you have. You know, I think I've done enough talking today. I'm gonna to let my fellow judges tell you guys who we chopped between the bottomless pit of failure that was Mitchell and Moby. So, just to point it out, both of these dishes were complete dull. Um, both absolutely of them bad. were hardly edible whatsoever, but one of them was <laughs> not edible. At all. At all. I, I want to <laughs> say, first of all, even the pep preparation just confused me. It, it worried me. And to be honest, this person doesn't belong in the kitchen anymore. This person and had 20 minutes and didn't seem to do anything with those 20 minutes, but dick around with some crackers. <laughs> and, and cut the <laughs> and avocado. Cut an for avocado for 20 about minutes. 20 of the minutes that he had. Um, he didn't mash it, I he tried to say it was guacamole because it was just avocado with lime squeezed on it and all over the crackers. This man um, says this is guac. I just want to flash back to the point where he finished the dish, he took a step back, and he clapped his hands off like he had done something amazing. Can we rewind that? Yeah. Now I'm getting that. Replay that, please. Now I'm getting mad. Mopey, get the hell out of our kitchen. You are chopped. You are so chopped. Mopey, please don't ever come but back. Wait, wait, wait. We have something else to say. Mopey, not only was the worst dish in the history of chopped, going back to the first episode with this man microwaved eggs, this was worse <laughs> than that. But Mitchell, you had the second worst dish in the history of chopped. Mitchell, this was completely <laughs> shit. It was just a tad bit more edible I asked than this. Mitchell. I asked who used the microwave today, and you said you. I wish you didn't say that. Mitchell, I trusted you. I would eat Chris's eggs over your meal but any day. Mopey, you are only okay, moving on I say, because Mopey was that bad. Can I just say, my tortilla with cranberry might have been better than It was, both it was better than both of these. It was better than both of those. Oh, dead yes. ass. This was disgusting. Mitchell, this was complete dog sh. Mitchell. I wouldn't feed this to Humphrey. Mitchell, I hated your meal, but you're moving on. Mopey, I don't know what Stop you're hiding behind doing. Con. I don't know what you're Mopey, so get out of the kitchen. Get the hell out. <laughs> oh Subscribe to him, though. Yeah. He's, we love him. Guys, three contestants remain. Jesser, Todd, and Moochie. Two of them were flaming disappointments in the appetizer round, but maybe they'll turn it around tomorrow in the entree round. Subscribe to see Chop Part 2 coming out tomorrow. Subscribe to everyone else's channels. Hope you enjoyed. See you tomorrow. Peace. Thank you.